how are you doing? I, I know every day is different. It is the strange thing about MS. It really, it really is so variable and changes. I'm feeling really great now. I mean, I'm here with you. We're in front of a fire. I have my dog. In many ways, Selma Blair has arrived again. The actress fans came to know and love in Cruel Intentions and Legally Blonde back in the spotlight after revealing her multiple sclerosis diagnosis in 2018. And most recently, starring as herself in Introducing Selma Blair, a documentary with an unflinching look at the chemotherapy and stem cell transplant she underwent to treat her MS. My abilities after stem cell, um, I had a really hard couple years. It really shook my faith. It really, really, really threw me backwards. By the act of being as honest as I could, um, it, it did something for other people. It's in that same spirit of candor that Selma details her life struggles and triumphs in her new memoir, Mean Baby. You had your first drink when you were a little girl, seven years old. Yeah, my first drunk when I was seven. I had my first drinks, you know, much younger. Even as a little kid, you're like, that's a comfort. But no one noticed, not a teacher, not, not your parents. Mm -hmm. You didn't get in trouble. You drank through elementary school, middle school, high school, college. college. How did you do it? I mean, how did you function? It was hard. I, I don't know, but maybe it was easier. Maybe I would have never survived without a drink. Selma writes, the desire to drink as much as I could, as often as I could, stayed with me and did not let go for more than 20 years. When you were thinking about writing a memoir, it feels to me you were quite courageous. It really was the gift that I had received when I, when I was vulnerable about the MS. There is no real room for guilt in moving forward. You write in the book about um, some very painful episodes, including an educator who violated you. And you say, he didn't rape me, but he broke me. He broke me. I loved him. Loved him. Father figure. But having a personal betrayal of someone that loves you be so inconsiderate of your life path really hurt. It hurt me. In Mean Baby, Selma also describes being raped several times during her life, writing, these were the things I drank to forget. I didn't drink for attention. I drank to disappear. You bury it. You really do. It's a big deal to have these things happen and to hold that shame in your cells. Selma recounts two occasions where she tried to take her own life and how she found her way back through dark times and her health struggles with the help of loved ones. You fought to still be here. Yeah. With and everything really, you've got. I really, I really did. We all will come to times where we're gonna have to fight harder than we think. And, and I was supported, I was lucky. Selma says she hasn't had a drink since 2016 after she passed out on a plane with her then four-year-old son, Arthur, and his father, Jason Blyke. How did you finally conquer it? What made the difference for you? That I could have died on that plane. I mean, now that I was a mother, it just changed everything. It changed everything. It's gone from me. I'm not cocky about it. You have to always be vigilant, but it really is gone. The 49-year-old says she's grateful to now have answers for the physical pain she's experienced since childhood. I had so many things that were so indicative of MS. Have you ever been told that probably was the beginning of MS? Or that oh, absolutely. somehow connected? Absolutely the ailments as a kid connected. I do know for sure I had it by the age of 23. It was definitely there for so long. And the pain is still there. I'm in remission. I built no new lesions. But I still have the, you know, some brain damage and things that are there. But I'm okay with it. It's, I'm okay. I'm grateful because I'm doing so much better. Very nice. Writing has been a touchstone throughout oh. Selma's life. And she says it's more important to her now than ever. How did you feel the first time, like when you started to get better enough to get back on the horse? How we like oh, how did happening it... like right now? Yeah, <laughs> but oh, I think I was impatient. Yeah, were we scared? No, scared not. I get so excited that I think it can read to him. Maybe like fear or yeah, anxiety. Yeah, I just get so excited. 
I'm learning patience. Physical and emotional challenges still present themselves. Salma recently filing for a restraining order against a former boyfriend alleging abuse, and he did the same. Both say they were defending themselves. I really never in a million years thought that I would be in this situation. But what I can say is um, I will respect this process. You would like to see the justice system play out? I would, and it's hard to do. Still, she says she's in a new space in life and is ready for whatever comes next. I'm really, really happy to be able to walk into this space of uh, empowerment and realizing I, I am a calm and stable grown up. I'm okay, even though I've not always been. Wow. So her book oh. comes out next yeah. week. It is <sighs> such a fascinating read. She's so honest, so transparent. She's a beautiful writer. She's funny. She's <laughs> intelligent. Mm -hmm. And she tells she tells the truth. She tells everything that happened to her. I'm, and it's 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 hard to read, but I, I found it to be really profound. Wow. Um, just the idea that she had symptoms of MS so early on yeah. in her life was oh, so yeah. shocking and nobody noticed. Well, she did. First of all, the fact that she started drinking when she was a yeah. little girl yeah. and girl. nobody noticed. Right. And not just a little bit, like a, a lot. lot. Um, right. And then also she um, she had a fever for three years straight. Wow. No one could figure it out. She had a lot of little <laughs> symptoms. symptoms. It all adds up to the puzzle. Who will mm. ever know? Yeah. You know, is that why the drinking was to, to anesthetize the pain and yeah. to say nothing of the pain of some of the childhood trauma? Yeah, yeah it's but she's just, had so many negative chapters of her life as we just saw that we didn't know about. Right. But she still yeah. exudes this ability to share inspiration yeah. by yeah. by the point that it's never too late to grab the reins of your own life yeah. and take yeah. control. She is yeah. a survivor, yeah. and she's yeah. joyous and funny <laughs> yeah. and honest and. Um, not she doesn't go easy on herself yeah. not in that documentary not in the mm -hmm. memoir mm -hmm. you know but it's it's super fascinating we actually have a lot more of the conversation mm -hmm. um yeah. the book is called mean baby don't you want to know about that title <laughs> we'll, tell you, we'll explain that also her own experience with motherhood her acting aspirations her career and her own very complicated relationship with her mom yeah. she's also featured on the cover of people magazine wow. that issue on friday on newsstands nationwide Good for her. yeah that was That's great. all right Savannah, thanks Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.